Hello everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to set up and install WordPress website on a Vulture high frequency VPS server with plus control panel. So the first thing you should do is check the link in the description and click on it. Then you will see the step by step instructions which will make things much easier to follow this tutorial and any future changes or updates to this tutorial will be posted on my website. So please make sure to check my website link and here let's follow the process the step one is to sign up for vulture website it's really easy or you can just click on this link and you will see this guide here with step by step instructions and the best thing is right now there is a very good offer vulture is offering they are giving you hundred dollar free credit to try their service so all you have to do is just follow step by step instructions as shown in screenshot here you will see you will get a free credit like this or if you want to watch a video how to do it then the video link is also here and after signing up for vulture vps i have already created my vulture account you can see here let's go to the guide here and see what is the step two so step two is to install plesk for that go to vulture website here and from the dashboard click on this plus icon here click on deploy a new server select high frequency server and in server location pick the location which is closest to your audience for this tutorial i will pick singapore here and then scroll down here go to marketplace apps from here search for plesk or you can also see this here just search for it plesk and then click on it then you will see this option web admin se this is free so click on that then scroll down and select the server size so the six dollar plan should be enough for a normal website then scroll down we do not need to select any of these options right now in host name put your domain name here then click on deploy now So this will initiate the Plesk installation process. Now you can see the status has changed to running and we can also see the IP address of our server. Let's check the guide for step three. Step three is to configure Glue DNS records. And if you need help with that, click on this link and you will find a guide for the most popular domain DNS registrars. I will show you how to do it for Namecheap. Go log into your Namecheap account and in dashboard here you will see the domain listed. Select the do correct domain and click on manage here. Go to advanced DNS tab. You will see this option personal DNS server. Click on add name server. From here, select NS1 and in IP address, go to the vulture control panel here. You will see this option, copy IP address and paste it here. Then click on done. Now again, click on add name server. Now select NS2, paste the IP address and again click on done. Okay. So you will see this message name server successfully added updated to check the records we added are working select custom name servers here and then paste this ns1.yourdomain.com and then click on search then you will see the result here you should make sure the ip address visible here is the same as in your vulture account here now go to domain tab here select custom dns and a name servers add ns1.yourdomain.com ns2.yourdomain.com and then click on this tick icon you can see the changes have been done now to make sure that the DNS record has been updated, you will have to go to this website, type your domain name here.
and select A here, click on search. So you can see this is showing my old server IP here. I will select this option and this will keep on refreshing every 20 seconds or you can also manually refresh it to see if the new IP has been updated. Now let's go back to the vulture control panel here. Here select your server instance. Scroll down and you will find the plus server details here. Click on this link. Click on advance and proceed to your IP. Now we will need this login details. Go back to the vulture control panel here. Copy password and username is root. Click on login. Fill your details here. Generate a strong password. Make sure to save this password in a safe location. Take this option. I confirm that I have read and accepted the agreement. Then click on enter plesk. Now plesk will take few minutes for the installation and first time setup process to be completed. You can see the progress here. And when you see this option, add domain, click here. Type your domain name here. In web space settings, you can see this options. So make sure that password generated is strong and copy and save this password. We may need it later. Click on add domain. Page will automatically refresh. So you don't have to do anything. Now on the bottom right of your screen, you can see there is an error that the domain is not resolving to the correct IP because we just changed the DNS records and it will take some time for the DNS record to be updated. So we will take a 10 to 15 minutes break and after that we will use this website to manually refresh and check if the DNS record has been updated or not. It's been 30 minutes and you can see some of the DNS servers are detecting the new IP here and some are still detecting the old IP. So let's go back to the plus control panel here and see if it is still showing the error or not. For that select the domain and go to hosting and DNS. From here go to DNS settings and make sure that there is no error in red. Click here. If the plus control panel is still not able to detect the correct IP, you will see a warning message just like this. It will be a different message. It will show that the domain is not resolving to this IP. And right now you can see there is no such error. This warning message is for a different thing that I changed, uh, but you will not see this error. So our DNS setup process is complete. Let's go back to this website and see the step five. We have done step five. Let's issue SSL step six. Go to plus control panel here. Go to websites and domains. From here, you will see this option in security tab. Click here. Click on this option. Install a free basic certificate provided by Let's Encrypt. Click on install. Put your email address here and take this option. Secure the wildcard domain and also take this option. Then click on get it free. Click on reload. Okay, so you can see the SSL certificate has been installed and you can see what it is securing. It is securing our main domain, the www.prefix, webmail and additional this email. To keep your website secure and to renew your certificates automatically, take this option and this will automatically renew your certificate whenever they will expire. Now let's install WordPress and enable caching. Go here. Go to websites and domains. Click on this option WordPress toolkit or you can also go to WordPress section from here. Click on install WordPress. If you want you can change your username from here and generate a strong password here. Now copy this username and password in a safe place. 
in automatic update settings change this to yes but only minor security updates and then click on install you can see the installation progress on the right bottom of your screen here wordpress installation is complete and the page will automatically refresh and you will see this option i will click on no thanks here you can turn on caching by selecting this option you can also log in to the WordPress admin area from here. Click on login. As you can see, WordPress is installed and you can access the WordPress admin area from here. Now you can design your website as you like or make any changes. I'm not going to show you the designing part in this tutorial. Now let's complete step nine and step 10. Enable email and check firewall and antivirus. For this, go to plus control panel here. Go to website and domains go to the mail tab here click on mail accounts click on create email address and for example i will create test at the rate best wpyt.xyz you can create any email address like admin at the rate your domain.com and an external email address for example you can give your gmail address here this will be used in case you forget password of this email so you can enter your gmail address here or any other alternative email and then generate a strong password save this click on ok you can see here the email address has been created and to access it click here it will open in a new tab and you can access the webmail from here fill your username and password this is the username password we just created and then click on login from here you can send and receive emails to send emails click on compose here fill email address subject and the content of the email and then click on send if you want to create more email address you can follow the same steps click on create email address and you can also enable auto reply and email forwarding options so let's complete the step 10 now let's go to tools and settings here click on this option web application firewall make sure that it is set to on and in settings make sure this rule set is selected and this update rule set option is enabled and it is selected as daily in configuration you can select these options but i will leave it at default right now we i will create a different tutorial covering the security part of this plesk now let's go to website and domains here you will see this option of this immunify ab click on this option then take this option click here to read uh, that you have accepted terms and conditions click ok and now you can scan your website for any viruses or malicious files click on scan here the scanning process will take some time depending on your website size till it is scanning you can go back and do any other task so i hope this tutorial was useful i will create many more tutorials about this control panel as you can see there are so many options so I will create tutorial how to optimize your website, how to secure your website and what all functions you have with this control panel. For that, check the links in the description. I will also create a playlist for this uh, plus control panel tutorials. So that's it guys for this video. I will see you in the next video.